What's up guys? So as I promised, I'm going to show you my home workout that I do. I post some videos on Instagram, but I think this would be better to have an actual YouTube video that you guys can refer back to every now and then to check it out. So I get a lot of questions as to how I stay fit while I travel, and this is exactly how I do it. I utilize any space that I have, and I just get creative with it. So a lot of the workouts that I do are push-ups, handstands, uh, sprints, squats, uh, handstand push-ups, and any type of uh, variation of a floor exercise. So here we go. I'm going to start with just some uh, easy floor exercises here. And uh, this is just going to be a, a basic push-up. So what I like to do is I like to vary my push-up positions. So this is your standard push-up where your hands are to the side. So I'll usually start out with like 30 of these types of push-ups. And then once I do those and I get fatigued, I'll switch it up to hands by the side and elbows close. Hey boy. Sorry about that. <laughs> so again, this this push up variation works more of your your triceps. So you can get a good arm, uh, chest, and shoulder workout from this position. So this is triceps and chest. This is mainly chest and some triceps. You'll feel the difference too. And if you really want to go for your biceps, you just separate your hands out to the side like this, and this is a tough one. You go to the side and over. So side and over. Side and over. And this really gets your bicep going. This one I usually do like probably like 20. So I'll do 30 of the regular, 20 of the side, and maybe another 20 where I'm going side to side. And then I burn out. And I'll try to do three sets of that entire circuit right there to get my uh, biceps, triceps, and my chest. Another thing you can do from this position is if you want to work more of your shoulders or if you have weaker arms, weaker chest, you just pike a little bit so you push your butt up in the air and you just go down to your face like that. And this will work more of your shoulders. Okay? And this is more of a, uh, for beginners if you want to work your shoulders. If you have strong shoulders already and you want to do something a little more difficult, you can come on over here and I'll just show you right here. Just find a wall. Again, use whatever space that you have and you can push up and do push up handstands. So just like that. Uh, woo. Can't do many right now, I just did a full workout. So that's for your shoulders. Um, for my lower body, you can I leave it there. I know there's a dog. Okay. Come. Come on. Okay. All right. We just had to take a little break there. <laughs> so the next thing that I'm going to show you is exercises for the lower body. So these are all for upper body, um, and that's if you don't have any weight sets. Oh, one last thing I can show you is if you have any type of bench or chair, you can do push-ups this way. So I have a bench here, but you can use a chair, you can use a desk, whatever. Get your feet elevated and uh, come here, feet there, and you can do push-ups this way. And that'll work more of your upper chest, okay? So now for the lower body. Woo, it's getting me tired. So I really love to do uh, walking lunges. It really works your glutes and gets your, your ass nice and strong and tight is great. So for walking lunges, it's better to do it in the grass. Um, or if you are careful with your knees, you can do it on the concrete. So you just lunge and walk, lunge and walk, lunge and walk. So if you notice while I'm lunging, it's a 90 degree angle, 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. That's the important thing when you do lunges, is you get that 90 degrees, okay? So lunge, walk. Uh, lunge walks, I prefer to do them weighted, so I usually have weights, because um, that works it better. But if you're a beginner, just do regular lunge walks with just your, with no weights, and you can do probably like 20 to 30 uh, with no problem. I mean, it'll get to a problem once you hit 30. <laughs> so if you want a more intense workout for your legs, you can do jumping lunges. So you go here, and you switch, and down. Switch, and down, just like that. Now with these, these will burn you out much faster. Whenever you jump up, you want to jump up to where you can stand straight. But, you're, but 
So you don't want to jump low when you do these. You don't want to go like this. You know, you want to jump up, high, okay? Those, I'll do 20 or 30 as well. And then to wrap it all off, what I do is I usually go running, maybe do some sprints. And that's actually what Lala and I are gonna do. My sister. <laughs> Thanks for filming, Lala. Appreciate it. <sighs> Sorry about Callie. She's just looking at the dog. I don't think she likes that dog. So, guys, oh. if you have any more questions, <laughs> you can comment below. And uh, if you want me to film anything else, let me know. This is just a quick workout that I want to show you guys uh, that pretty much everyone can do. And uh, so, yeah. Ciao. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you later.